Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about Windows subsystem for Linux, also known as WSL. What is this WSL all about? The Windows subsystem for Linux is a feature of Windows operating system that enables you to run a Linux file system along with Linux command line tools and GUI apps directly on your Windows alongside your traditional Windows desktop and apps. WSL is for anyone who likes using Bash, common Linux tools like Sed, Awk, etc., but also enjoys using Windows productivity tools. WSL enables you to run Linux in a Bash shell with your choice of distribution like Ubuntu, Debian, OpenSUSE, Kali, Alpine, etc. You can also access your local machine's file system from within the Linux Bash shell. You will find your local drives mounted under slash mnt folder. For example, your C drive is mounted under slash mnt slash C. WSL2 is a new version of Windows subsystem for Linux architecture that powers the Windows subsystem for Linux to run ELF64 Linux binaries on Windows. Its primary goals are to increase file system performance as well as adding full system call capability. What are the prerequisites for installing WSL? To install WSL, you must be running Windows 11 or Windows 10 version 2004 and higher, that is build 19041 and higher. To check your Windows version and build number, select Windows logo key plus R to open up the run dialog type winver, select OK. Note that WSL supports 64-bit operating systems and ARM CPUs only. Now let's go ahead and install WSL. Open up your command prompt or PowerShell as an administrator. Now type the command WSL dash dash list dash dash online. This shows a list of valid distributions that can be installed. As you can see, there's Ubuntu, Debian, Kali, OpenSUSE, and other flavors of Ubuntu. Note that Ubuntu is also the default one. Now let's go ahead and install WSL dash dash install dash D Ubuntu. Note that since Ubuntu is the default one, we can skip the dash D parameter altogether. But for this demo, I'm still keeping the dash D parameter with Ubuntu. As you can see, it's downloading and it will install Ubuntu now. This command essentially will download latest Linux kernel, set WSL2 as your default, and install Linux distribution, which is Ubuntu in this case. The first time you launch a newly installed Linux distribution, a console window will open and you will have to wait for the files to decompress and be stored on your machine. All future launches should take less than a second to launch. Also note that if this is the first time ever that you are running WSL install, you will be asked to reboot your system to take effect, something like this. As you see, in the last line after downloading Ubuntu, it says the request operation is successful. Changes will not affect until the system is rebooted. Now back to our current installation. As you see, the Ubuntu is installed and it's asking to set up a new Unix username. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's set a password. Let's retype the password. And there you go. The Ubuntu is set and ready to use. If you happen to close this window, no problem. Just search Ubuntu app and it will launch the terminal again. Now, let's say you want to, for some reason, uninstall this Ubuntu distribution. So all you have to do is go to the same command terminal which was opened using administrator just say wsl 
dash dash unregister and then the distribution name which in our case was ubuntu and it will unregister it you can also go ahead and do the usual add remove programs for windows like this search ubuntu here select the app and say uninstall so that's all i had to cover in this video please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from me thank you